Oh hey there, welcome everyone to a wonderful update video because there was a little update here 18 minutes ago. Planet Zoo update 1.5 coming the 30th of March and how lucky I am to just have lunch break. That was a good timing. Um, so you can see there is this wonderful update that just popped up and there is a lot of cool stuff in here. It is dropping the 30th of March so we do still have two weeks of time until this update is coming to our zoos. However, there are some really good things in here. It's not like it's not groundbreaking, you know, it's not like that I'm going through the roof here, but there are some very good core updates that we've been asking for a long, long time. So let's start with the easy things. Uh, we have multiple zoo entrances. This is something a sandbox player knew already for a long, long time and we didn't even have a problem with that because we could put down spawners. Now you can do this in franchise mode as well, even though they seem to be very expensive, as they say. Um, they will obviously give you the chance to make your zoo populated in every corner that you want. Um, I think it's very much needed because otherwise the distribution of guests in your zoos, especially in franchise, is not really that great. Um, so yeah, however, the one thing that is insanely great, and this is by far my most favorite thing, is the water visual setting UI. You can see over here that we do have a new control. If you click on a water volume, you will get a control that allows you to change the color and the transparency of your water volume and this is actually a direct answer to our ongoing critique that these viewing galleries were looking well kind of shabby and so we needed some uh you know tutorials by delay designer how to make them uh, a bit more visual by putting like soil on top and making things like being in the shadow and stuff like that no need for that anymore. You can do this with a little control panel over here. Pretty good stuff. Um, and you can change this. I can't really tell what exactly this is in the middle. I think it just kind of says midnight or something. The picture, unfortunately, is very small. I'm not sure if I will find bigger ones uh, somewhere else, um, but we'll have a look. So. And that's pretty much what is this. Then we talk about billboards. Um, I think there's not much more we uh, need to talk about billboards. You've seen that in all the other update videos, I guess. Um, it's basically working the exact same way as in Planet uh, Coaster. We're getting, uh, getting uh, different sizes. You can bring in the formats uh, such as JPEG, PNG, TIFF, TGA and BMP. However, don't get your hopes high up. There is no alpha layer in there. So it's basically just the supported file formats, but you always have to think about having a backdrop as well. Um, I thought about that using it as a decal, but don't you think about that. That's just not gonna work. But um, in general, very cool stuff and the cool bit is you can override and this this is the thing the the one big change to planet coaster because it had not no such a system but you can override the existing exhibit conservation education boards and so on and so forth which is brilliant because that means you can still get the education in but you can make your own ones which is brilliant because finally we can also use these small little exhibit things um to make them for bigger animals how cool is that so this is pretty pretty amazing we will also get audio and stuff very nice and then there's a whole bunch of stuff around the free time scenario um i'm you know i, I never played it i think it's it's fine um it's it's kind of a challenge for some people you get some cool rewards just as like this um uh, i don't know iron <laughs> iron orangutan over here um as a reward we'll get some rewards we have to see how cool the rewards are maybe i have to play them then um but it looks kind of cool i'm not gonna lie this statue is pretty amazing and i think we don't really have an orangutan statue in the game as of now now so this is pretty much something new which I like um, so yeah that's that's nice I guess um, and then the most important thing is we can save franchise zoos now as a sandbox and I know how much you guys wanted to have all my franchise zoos so good things ahead you will get the Verinquieto zoo you will get the Ruhr zoo you will get the uh, uh, Newport Bay of course the, the current one but you will also get uh, our tropical one and I forgot one more what was the last one? Oh, the efficiency one uh, the Oak Street zoo one so that's pretty cool everything we've done in those zoos um, I will basically release five zoos to you guys then which is pretty amazing and we can finally do some some tours proper tours in these zoos without basically um, destroying what we've done then we have another great addition that we've all needed so so much and that is the traversable area to the staff members I mean the <sighs> <laughs> it was always such a guessing game to see if they can just reach the areas um, what we thought they would um, but then in the end you know they didn't so it's, it's kind of a little bit of a um, feature that 
I think I don't really know why it hasn't been in there from the beginning. So uh, it's very good to have it now, you know. Um, it's better late than never, you know. That's that's how it is. Um, then we have also. Um, multi select we will be adding multi select back into Planet Zoo, designed to make it easier for you to manage your animals. Multi select will be uh, in the form of a tick box that will be added to the animal storage tab across the different Planet Zoo modes, which is great. Um, there was a little bit of an issue here, and now we can finally multi select animals again. It's, you know, kind of a helping system um, to make things a bit more efficient. That's great. And we have the deep swimming added to the Garyield. I think this is a pretty much an expected one. Um, it, it kind of gets me a little bit happy because then it's one more animal that can dive. Um, but the most important bit of this sentence is the second sentence in here, which is the uh, in future updates, we are looking to adding deep swim swimming to other animals in the roster. We when we have more to share on these, we will let you all know. That means knowing Frontier, they are already working on that. And my best thing about this is that means we are speaking of potentially different animals because I think the only thing that might work is the Nile monitor as well, but I'm not really sure. Do they even dive that much? Would they be like an animal that is diving? I mean, it's pretty much taking the um, caiman one by one, I guess. But other than that, we have to look into other species uh, to you know add to the roster. And they're not speaking of one more species or one more animal. Uh, they speak about other animals. That's plural. So that means I still have my hopes high that we at least see some polar bears diving at some point, um, which I really hope is coming well, well, rather soon, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so this is this is all about the um, free update that is, you know, free, which is great. You don't need to pay for that. If you own this game, you will get the update. That's kind of great. I mean, you know, I, I love the fact that I keep updating the game for free. Not gonna lie, it's something um, that not everyone does, you know. And so I really think that um, this is still a good thing. Uh, my favorite item is definitely this one over here. So you can finally recolor the freaking water volumes, which I think is brilliant. Um, and yeah, so that's about it. A short update. I really hope you guys are excited for this one. I am certainly excited for at least some of these features. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting some more news because as we all know, there's always something coming with uh, a free update. I think it's, you know, uh, it's no news to you if we say that we are having to keep our eyes on the forums for the next coming days. I'm very excited to see what is in there. I'm really, I just have no idea. I, this time I'm really like in the, there's also nothing to hint at. I, I already tried to spot all of these things, but there's like, I can't see a new item. I can't see a new animal. I, I thought for a brief second I was a coaster over here, to be honest, but I think this is just a very weird um, angle of how the terrain is put in. But yeah, so there's nothing in uh, other than this 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 shiny orangutan thingy anyhow guys i really hope you enjoyed this little quick update um yeah have a good day stay safe everyone and i'll talk to you in the next one goodbye